Am I doing well right now, or am I not doing? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, found a wooden butter. I've been here before. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There was like a ritual place and some guards here that I tried to avoid. Oh my god, there's a guard right there. Could I take him? Or oh, maybe try not to. Last. Oh no! Wait, no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Sacrifice what? Sacrifice. Show love. Pray. I prayed to All Mare, right? The last time. And it said something about giving me something. But I don't know what that thing was. You finished. Your affinity with the All Mare is growing. What the hell does that mean, though? It doesn't say anything about the All Mare there. There. Fucking me. My English thing is bestest. Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh my god. How can a simple game like this scare the crap out of me all the time? Can I kill these people? Uh, I'm guessing they're... Arm is what's dangerous, right? What the hell does a yellow mean? Does that mean like... Oh yeah, is that his fears? Does that mean like... My character is afraid right now? What about aim for the head? They're fairly easy, aren't they? What does he have though? Search him. Cloth fragment. Okay, let's go. What, what, what if I get bleed again? What? Can I kill these two? Okay. Attack the arms. That's one arm down. Well, that's that's not good. Go for a head. She is very weak. Um, I have like literally no idea what I'm doing in this game. Like, I am. That doesn't sound good. Well, I beat them. Purifying talisman and the priest's robe. Okay. What is a pure priest lantern? Soul stone? No. Wait. The what the hell does a soul stone do? Change the soul rib. Faint blue light? What is a soul stone, dude? What is anything in this game? Creation of life. Nos Ramas. 13th to the 5th moon of 1109. The prolonged studies of the black growth hormone finally produces some results. The black liquid has proven to be very potent in my previous research, but this new discovery is unlike anything I expected. A mixture of human blood has created a new artificial life form. The results are a tiny fetus of human features that is breathing lightly and seems to be in constant agony. 1st to the half moon 1109. The life form is ever so hungry, but no matter how much nourishment I feed it, there is no visible growth. I am doing experiments with different sources of food, but nothing seems to work. It's as if this miserable being is destined to forever remain in a state of constant agony. 30th of the half moon 1109. <clears throat> the appetite is nothing short of astonishing, but it produces no effect in its growth. I killed a child. It had no purpose in this world. Okay. I'm questioning whether we, as humans, were ever meant to create artificial life. I must once again study the teachings of the older gods who attain such miracles. Okay. Tale of the Pocket Cat. It was a rainy day in the countryside, just north from the forest of Marwood. Willem, the wildest child known in the town, would stare at raindrops behind the window screen. His mother would warn him of going outside during rain. Decent boys 
would help their parents with various indoor tasks. Rain brings forth all kinds of dangers not otherwise known to little boys. Disregarding the warnings and without a worry in the world, Willem dashed through the bushes and ran deep into the mirror. Okay. <laughs> Got a little bit cut off on the side there. In the heart of the forest, all wet from the rain, Willem heard slight panting noise, noises, noise, from an overgrown grotto nearby. Cautiously, Willem peeked through the leaves. He would not believe his eyes when he saw a finely dressed cat standing on two feet twice as tall as Willem's father would be. Ah, the cat returns, Baron something or Baron Von Gippel, I can't remember. Studio Ghibli. If anyone is wondering the crappy, terrible reference I don't. The cat's back was facing Willem. Its hand was moving swiftly inside its pocket while the two big yellow eyes gleed inside a burlap bag in great excitement. Suddenly the hand movement came to a halt. Even if Willem was well hidden behind the leaves, slowly the cat turned its eyes towards him. In terror, Willem- Oh my god, my keyboard is so sensitive. Sorry. His mother was there to meet him at the front door, so you just had to go to the woods, did you? said his mother. You saw something you shouldn't have, right? questioned his mother. And how do I know this? Willem's mother would go inside to get a little parcel of decorated wrappings. It disappeared in the front door just before he came, who was directed to young Mr. Willem. Slowly Willem unwrapped the decorated paper with small mouse prints on it. Inside the parcel, there was catnip. Okay. And what, what happened? You are with a sane mind still. Please leave me. I'm not here to make acquaintances. And I fail to see what worth chatting with you would bring. My name is Anki, a priest of destruction. Did that feed your curiosity? Uh, not really. Listen, I am through with this conversation. It brings no benefit to either of us. Leave. Okay. Dark priests are generally frowned upon in the suppressed modern societies, but then we suddenly become a valuable asset when you're facing eternal darkness. Well, your survival is none of my concern. In fact, you would most likely be more valuable to me after the horrors of these dungeons have had their way with you. I'm through with you. Okay. No! Oh, oh well. Oopsie. Can I run away? I didn't mean to. Oh, great. That does not sound good. Is that going to infect me or do anything horrible to me? Oh, my God. Oh, great. Well, that's him dead. Sorry, bro. Wait, what? Is something wrong? Don't worry, I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Okay. Um. Search him. High priest robe, okay? Ever watching talisman. Who the hell was that dude? Wait, isn't there not a dude here too? Oh well. Pray to Almer. Okay, does anything. I have no idea what I meant to do in this game. Does it open this? Investigate? What? Oh. Okay. Where the hell? Is it? Oh yeah, I got a purifying talisman of a priest, right? Ah, oh, great. Everyone is always so goddamn hungry in this game. It's, it's as if this game was called something and hunger. Oh. Eat some blueberries. That didn't do anything, did it? Eat an egg. I'm so hungry. God damn it. Well, that helped a lot, I guess. OK. 
Okay. Oof. What is it? Inner hall? Okay, where the hell am I now, though? What's this? Something written here. The hex creates a connection to the gods, both new and the old. To get closer to the older gods, you must work your way up and gain their affinity. With each circle, you get closer to them. The new gods only pass on their knowledge to those who share the same birth sign and soul with them. Okay. Use the hexen? What'll, I, what'll happen? What? I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I'll research them, right? I got a key off that dude. Was that door up here, though? Finally, I figured out what. I remember this. Okay. Sounds from ahead. I'm going to save game first, you know, because I have a funny feeling something bad is going to happen. And I. I haven't saved in a while. And I would be absolutely furious if I just died right now. Tear the blanket? Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Please give me a... Yes. Good night's sleep. Okay. Now we have to go down to the blood pit, I'm guessing. And... S hopefully. Hopefully don't... What the hell is that? Well, that, that, is, that doesn't look good. I've seen something in the distance in the blood pit. Purifying talisman. Another one of them purifying talismans. Okay. Open. Uh, heads? Please give me a good... Yeah, boy! Soul stone. Okay. Does that mean I can, like, do whatever that thing was before? A quill? I'm surprised that doesn't attract attention. Oh my- oh my god! Oh wait, I've got cloths, right? Oh, I've got an infection again! Oh, shit. Ah, oh, great. Ah, oh, why me? I found another purifying talisman. Fear is getting a hold of you. Fuck! Fuck! Suicide is always an option? What? Oh, wait, I have to take care of my mind? I forgot about that. Ghoul. We ain't going near a ghoul. Ah, oh, great. I probably need to use, like, tobacco or something, or... Do I have any tobacco? I do have tobacco. I need a pipe. God damn it. Worm juice? A worm kills something parasites inside the Oh god this game is confusing the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, it's not really confusing the crap out of me, it just Oh Everyone is always so goddamn hungry. And I never have enough food, do oh I've got turnips. Okay, you turn up? Probably not anything useful, right? No green herbs, though. Is it green herbs or herbs? Red herb? Dried tomato? Uh, I'm picking up a lot of stuff, but I still really need to find my goddamn. Cure my infection, or I'm gonna die of another goddamn infection. Oh, Jesus. Hold it. Just hold it right there. You are saying, I gather. Even if I might seem wounded and wounded, I can still pack a deadly blow or two. So don't get any ideas. Hold it, Seymour. I know this one. This one is one of the good ones. Ah, I see. Okay. You seem to retain your sanity still. Hold on to it. What are you doing here? I delved down here together with my comrades. We have a mission to fulfill. The fate would, however, have it so that each of us got lost. I fear for the worst. We still haven't heard about the others. It is too late. 
Yes, perhaps. Should we pri prioritize in our survival then? I, I do not really know. It's not like this wicked place would le let us have our escape either. If we cannot head outside because of the unnaturally thick mist, we only have one direction to go. Down. Hooray. It is a mystery. I have no idea how things are in this shape. The dungeons are beyond unholy at this point. Do you know this place? This place is used as prisons by the Kingdom of Rondon. Everyone knows these dungeons around these parts. They are pretty notorious, in fact. All kinds of rumours are exchanged in the darkness of the night. The rumours speak of unimaginable horrors. Who knew they were not just pesky rumours? Greetings, brave one. You really helped me out there by getting rid of that wretched torture. Let me reward your bravery. Ooh. You're the one who also killed Torture. The world really is a better place after he's gone. Did you know him? Yes, I knew him somewhat. He's one of the higher officials in these dungeons, believe it or not. He had that disfigured shape long before coming here. But this place has certainly had an enhancing effect to his looks and mental state. The lunatic tried to have his ways of me too before you meddled with his plans. Okay. I remember I picked up a bunch of weapons here before. If I like got a load of coin flips. God damn it. Give me a good coin flip, bro. Ah, oh, it's always tails. Tails never fails, right? Should I go tails? I keep selecting heads all the time. There we go. Got something. Did I? What? What? No way. Did, did the game glitch somehow? Schmittar. I already have a Schmittar, right? I don't know where to go. I literally went everywhere in this game so far. Oh, you fuckheads! Is there two of them? Can I run? Crap! Okay, we got his arm. No, wait. Run. All allies. Attack. Oh, thank god. Oh, great, there was- I forgot about the second one. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? What? I thought I was able to gather it. I'm not able to. Oh, great. There's too many. Too many of them fuckers in this place. I don't know where to go, man. I'm just gonna save game, bro. Did I save game? I didn't. There, okay, now I get to save game, right? 22 hours. Okay. Ooh. Right. Oh. Oh my god. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna, yeah, leave it here, and I'll be back for another part real soon. See you later, guys. Bye bye Ciao. Adios. Amigos.